Hello and welcome to the Skit Twins podcast. I think that's how we start it all the time. That's just gonna be our starter now. Just hello, because <laughs> I do too. Um, but yeah, welcome to another Skit Twins podcast. We didn't put a video up this week. It was snowing. It was snowing and it rained. Everything. Yeah. And our internet was super slow, but that might have been because of the snow. That's sort of what I meant when I ruined everything. Oh. Yeah. I thought you'd... Okay. I was just clarifying then. <laughs> You're just being more specific. Yeah. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to start off with a random fact that I literally just found out. Okay. Um, and that is that haagen you know that? The ice cream? Yeah, other brands of ice cream are available. But haagen doesn't actually mean anything. It's just a sound. It's just a sound, and they were like, hey, that sounds kind of like Scandinavian or whatever. Let's just use that. That sounds like posh ice cream. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. When did you. Okay. I don't even. Do I want to know how you find out this fact? I like to Google random facts sometimes just to sort of. Did you just Google a random fact so that you could have it for the podcast? No, I, I generally like to Google random facts. Oh, okay. Like, you, your sneezes are usually like 100 mile an hour. Oh yeah, I need that. And your heart beats like 100 million times a day. That's a lot. What if you're a really anxious person? Well, I mean, it's an average, so, you know. Yeah, so the chillest person in the world is probably less than that, and then a really anxious person is higher than that. That's quite interesting. I mean, it varies from day to day, like, it depends yeah. what you're doing. Sometimes I just get random heart palpitations for no reason and I'm like, I'm going to die, this is it. This is the <laughs> end. I get that sometimes whenever I get like, it's like a pain in your stomach or something. You're just yeah, like, you're this, like is this is it. it. Goodbye. I need to sort out my, my will I now. don't have a will. <laughs> but yeah. What age do you think is like a good age to make a will? I don't know. I mean, I know people who have wills at like the age of 25 and stuff and it's kind of like, whoa, bro. Like your life's only just starting and you're talking about a will i don't know someone at 25 years a will but okay i don't know either but i've heard of people who at 25 have a will and they're like perfectly healthy it's not like they've found out some terrible disease yeah i think i'm gonna write on a page and just have i just died and then i'll have this is where all my stuff wants to go but does not have to be legal i'll sign it they don't like if you don't have a will what happens to your stuff I mean, generally, it's family, family, just... family, I think. That's okay. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a nice intro to the podcast. I also looked up a little quote of the day, just because. So this is your quote of the day, guys. It's by William Wordsworth, who wrote about daffodils. Didn't yes. he? Isn't he the one who wrote about daffodils? But he said, Wisdom is often nearer to us when we stoop than when we sto- soar. So you're wiser when you're older? No, like when you're in the downs of life rather than like in the ups of oh, success okay. and stuff. I suppose your head's just not that big and you're just sort of like, yep. Yeah. yeah. This is what the real life's like. I mean, I suppose whenever you're in the down parts of life, you know what's important. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you can think more rather than sort of being like, screw you guys, I'm better than you. Screw you guys, I'm better than you. So yeah, it's been very snowy. We went sledging. It was fun. Why does the cold have to burn your face? Just the same reason why the warm burns your face. Sucks. Because I face planted the snow a lot. And now I have like really dry skin around my cheeks and my chin and my mouth and my nose. So as well as me though, because I invented a new sledging move. It's called the penguin. You just run out a hill and just go face first down it. Which is actually kind of terrifying, but like, you know, that's what they do in the, like, Winter Olympics and the skeleton. Isn't it the skeleton? Because I always keep on wanting to say skeleton tobogganing, but it's not tobogganing. I think it is, yeah. Skeletons. Sledging. I don't think it's sledging, though. I think it's just the skeleton. Bobsleigh. No, that's with more than one people. Oh, yeah, I know, but is it not similar to a bobsleigh because it's on a... No track. It's on a course. Well, yeah, it's on a track, but like it's not anywhere near as safe as a bobsleigh. <laughs> yeah, I know, but is there not something? Do they not? Do they not share some part of the name because one part of the name means like on a track? No, 
I don't think so. Okay. Because a fine. sleigh is a sleigh and a bob is like four. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Is it all five in a bob sleigh? I don't know. No, I think there is only four. Because, I mean, people always say, oh, that, that'll cost you a few bob. A few fours. <laughs> that'll cost you a few fours. <laughs> Maybe it's because their heads bob away a lot. Maybe. That, that could be That's it, what actually, I was yeah. thinking of. Then what was it called before that? Before they were sort of like, yeah, that's, were they just sort of like, yeah, let's get in this sleigh. And then someone was like watching them just going, their head's bobbing around a while. Yeah, well, I call mean, it a bob sleigh. Yeah. Like, or was the inventor called Bob Sleigh? Mr. Sleigh? Mr. B. Sleigh? You're holding a device that has connection to the internet. Why don't you Google it? I will do that promptly. It's raining now though. And rain is a lot less fun than, than snow. Although to be fair, it did. It got really, really icy, and the roads were really dangerous. They still are. It's quite slippy. Stay safe. Stay safe on the roads, there, peoples. And then we live in the blatant countryside, so that makes it even harder. Like our wee road is very twisty and windy, and I think I think country roads should be gritted better than main roads because main roads are used more, so cars will slush up all the snow and stuff, and they'll become clearer and they're also usually straighter whereas country roads are usually very treacherous at the best of times and then you put ice on it that's really scary but there you go luge it's called a luge not a skeleton yeah well you know I, I didn't think it was called a skeleton I kind of wanted to call it a sculling but I knew that wasn't right because that's ruin so luge yeah luge it's French isn't it yeah French people are crazy. You're welcome. Did you find out any other facts about it? Um, I'm looking at bobsled. Oh, there is actually a thing called skeleton. Oh, what's it? Oh, that's whenever you go feet first, isn't it? I think so, That's yeah. basically sledging. We were skeletoning down a hill. Because we had to, you have to lie back whenever you're using the... Uh, we use um, plastic, big plastic bags that are used for sheep feed. And... We fill them up with straw so that they're like, I don't want to say buoyant, but it sort of spreads the pressure across the snow so you don't just sink. And I think the more straw you put in it, the, the faster you go. It's really fun. But you have to lean like right back on it so that you're like practically lying horizontal but with your feet up in the air. So it's basically an ab workout every single time and then you get a leg workout as you go up to the top. And sometimes you have to use your arms so it's, it's a really good workout. Sledging. Top job. It doesn't say how they got the name bobsled, but it was invented roughly around... I'm so glad you started talking again. I was running low on material. You always do it to me. Um, whenever you're looking up Twitter <laughs> and stuff. Oh, I didn't put anything out for Twitter or nothing today. That's okay. We have an email question. Um, do we? Yeah. <gasps> didn't check Oh, it doesn't even say. Um, but it was, it was, it was invented by Casper Badrut. Okay, so not bobsled. Who lived from 1848 to 1904, so it was at some point during that time. So it doesn't say when it was invented? No, not not on Wikipedia anyway, but you know, you know yourself what Wikipedia is like. Yeah. Um, skeleton. I just want to know if this is the actual one. It always involves single riders. It, it, oh, it starts with a running start. I think that's the difference from luge. Um... Skeleton gives the rider more control, making it safer than the luge. Um, um, oh, skeleton is actually the slowest out of bobsleigh and luge, and it's but face, you get a running start face down and head first. So it was skeleton. The most luge? luge is it? Is that the one that's feet first? Yeah, it's like normal sledging basically. Okay, cool. That like was similar to yeah. That's that's Luge there. He, he's sitting on a wee sleigh, ready yeah. to go down a track. Obviously, it's a lot more advanced than that. Like you can't just rock up to the Winter Olympics and be <laughs> like, "Yo, sup? I'm gonna represent Ireland in the Luge." I think I could. I am small, and no, I'd be too. I'd be terrified to be honest. How many people have died doing it? Do you want me to search that? No. Someone else can search it. Listeners can search it. How many people have died doing it? Unless you're an actual like competitive loser or skeleton or bobslayer because you probably don't want to know that. It's one of those things that's kind of like, you're better off not knowing. Yeah, but how many people have died doing those three sports? Please um, tweet us your answers. Yeah. 
at skit underscore twins. Or at skit under slash twins. That's S-K-I-T underscore T-W-I-N-S. So Chloe, what else do we have to talk about? I don't know, but if you were going to change your name, what would you change it to? Um, I always liked the name Naomi. What if you were a boy? Peter. Why? Just like the name Peter. Would you like Pete. people to call you Pete? Sup, Pete? Hey, yeah, Peter. Sure, why not? Sup, Peter? I prefer Peter, but like, you know, Pete's quick. See, I always ask people these questions, and then they turn it around to me, and then it's kind of like, oh, let's ask the question. <laughs> I want. I would want a name that like can turn into a nickname because like I just got Coco and Samuel, Clown. Sam. Yeah, I quite like Matthew, Matt. Yeah. Okay, what if you had to change your girl's name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. The so Liz. Liz. They're the names you use in your stories. Or Catherine. Cat. I like Catherine. Catherine's a nice name. I don't think I go. I don't think I go as short as Cat. Maybe Kathy. Or Kate. You can't shorten Naomi, can you? No. Unless you want to call it, unless you want to say no me no. No. <laughs> no. Me. You call me. Well, I suppose you can you can skip out the now, but you can just call yourself no me. <laughs> or me. Yeah. Me me. Naomi. Yeah, no me. No me. <laughs> or Nimi. <laughs> Nimi. <laughs> I like the name Naomi. If you are called Naomi, please uh like this podcast. <laughs> No, everyone has to like it and leave a review and a uh, star rating. Yeah, and share it with everybody. Just share it on Facebook and share it with your friends. Google Plus, but Google Plus is closing and all that crap. I thought it had already closed. No, I don't think so. I got an email during the week to be like, on this date, oh, it's closing for good, so make sure you save all your things. And I was like, I never used it. I never had it. No, you had to have it if you had a Google account. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, then I had it, but I never... Used went it. on it. Yeah. We're going to London again tomorrow. Less than excited. Yeah. I just I think it's just at I'm this stage always so tired. Yeah. At this stage we know that just the tired like it ruined it puts you out for a whole week. Yeah. It's two days, but it puts you out for a whole week and it's just it's kinda miserable because you go to London and you've got that much travelling to do. Um like if you think about it, we travel for a good seven hours. To get there. To get there for what? Two hours on a Monday? Yeah. Three. <laughs> three hours on a Monday. And then we have to travel another what, and like, two hours to get yeah. home Monday like, night. Yeah, okay, we could get the earlier flight, which would give us I mean, more we'd, time. We'd but still be traveling. Still be, yeah, but I was going to say that would mean that we would have to kill time around London for about four hours. Yeah. Which is awful sound because as well as it being six hours you, you can relax in the airport before the flight but as soon as you touch down in london it's just hell yeah to try and run to get the places and it's just a rush and tuesday's the same like tuesday morning is okay because it's, it's just a case of getting up and going Go to get a train yeah and then so it's not much of a rush but then whenever the course as soon as finishes it's, done, it's like five like... o'clock straight to the train station to go to the airport Oh, and then we have triathlon training on Sunday. Next Sunday, yeah. Which I'm kind of looking forward to because we haven't Same, seen. But I'm also going to be exhausted. Yeah. So we haven't we haven't seen the people, the guys, the gang since like way before Christmas. So it'll be good yeah. to have a wee catch up. It'll be fun. I hope that they uh, compliment my swimming <laughs> because I've tried I'm going to message. I'm going to message them without you knowing beforehand. Just be like compliment you to swimming. I have them just say it's good. Yeah. Just give her a wee thumbs up. That's what I want. I just want them to be like, wow, Judith, your swimming's really improved. You've got a long way to go, though. And then I'll cry. I'll be like, thanks. What Ooh. if they just give you like a singular thumbs up? Just, yes. I wouldn't see it. It wasn't like in your face. I would just sort of nod and be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like whenever you're swimming or whatever and someone's like, okay, I want you to do 800 metres now. And you just sort of look at them and just go, yes. <laughs> No, but it was, um, we were, uh, we, so we do master swimming now on a Thursday and Chloe and I are in sort of like the middle group. Middle top, I'd mm -hmm. say. Um, and the, the, what's his name? Like the instructor. Um, I thought you were wrong with his actual name and I was like, don't, th no, we're not gonna. Yeah. But, uh, he was like, 
okay, right, do 400 metres warm up or whatever. And then we like got halfway through that and he was like, no, actually, I want you to do like 800 metres. And me and Chloe just at the exact same time went, <laughs> and he just laughed. But it was just like, why would you? I was pure hyped. I was like, yeah, 400 metres can do that. Yeah, no problem. And like, he was like, I do can extra. It was like, <laughs> I can almost pace myself for different distances, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, if I had known at the start, 800 would have gone a wee bit slower. <laughs> I don't think. Excuse me. I don't think it was as much as 800. I think it was like. I think it was just another 200. Oh, it was eight lengths. I think it is what I'm thinking. Yeah, they that we work it. in lengths. Yeah. Which really confuses me because I take a length to be 50 meters, which is up and back down. That's one for me. But for everybody else, that's two. And it's kind of like eight lengths. And yeah, I'm like, to any, oh my word. To, to any normal person, yeah. I think it's. I think it just makes it seem less daunting to me. I always have to remind you. Yeah. We well, don't anymore, I'm sort of good at yeah, it now. But yeah. that's just because I haven't been to the pool between master swimming. Shh. Um, <laughs> um You know what I've done a lot this week? Copied people people's accents, but like not purposely. Just sort of like whenever they whenever they um Oh <laughs> you burps. <laughs> I was trying to apologize again. I, I thought that's what you were doing, and it's kinda like Oh wait, hang on, wait, why are you covering your- why are you flapping? Oh, right, you burp- Yeah, you know the way you can burp silently and it's just kind of like a silent but deadly fart? It's just- It's just like a silent but I deadly burp. It's because I lots of juice and it's just fruity but like not It's nice. not fruity. <laughs> I don't know, it's just it a mixture fruity, of everything yeah. but um, yeah. What was I saying? Talking in accents. I don't know, I've copied people's accents Who's? without realising. I don't know, I, I've been watching YouTube or whatever. Oh, right. And then, like, sort of come out of my room and being like, Yeah, I'm going to talk like this. And it's like, No. So you haven't done it out loud, it's more like in your head. I've done it out loud. Like, I said a couple of sentences to, like, Mum or whatever, and then sort of been like, Wait a second. <laughs> That's not me. That's not how I talk. <laughs> but then, like, whenever I'm talking to you, I use different accents anyway. Yeah. Whenever I'm like, if I'm telling a story or whatever, it'll be like, Oh, and then she said this, like, Oh my word, and and then like he was like no but i don't even sound like that and then she was like i you do and then <laughs> yeah but that's what you do whenever you're telling stories anyway it makes it easier to follow yeah uh speaking of accents we have an australian listener boop, boop. which is actually really cool like you're listening to this in like the future you're listening to this upside down more to the point does it sound weird upside down Oh. Thanks for answering. That was great. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Top quality. Sometimes I actually answer podcasts when they ask questions. Not out loud, but I will like physically mouth the answer. Yeah. Sometimes like, I nod. Yeah, it'll be like, are you enjoying the show? And I'll be like, yes. Except it's mostly in the gym, so I'm mostly like, yes. <laughs> Sometimes whenever I'm listening to a particularly funny podcast or like, you know those funny ones where they like sort of, they're being funny, but they're also preaching the truth. Yeah. You're like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the way you laugh and sometimes you shake your head like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh, those guys. Yeah, yeah. I do that a lot. Except it's silent laugh. And then I think if anything, that's the worst because it makes you look, like, especially whenever you're on like the steps or the bikes or running or whatever, you lose your breath so quickly and you're just like, <laughs> okay, I can't breathe. Yeah. It's not funny anymore, guys. It's not funny. <laughs> uh, I have a Northern Irish phrase of the week. Oh, good, because I forgot to do that. Uh, the Northern Irish phrase of the week is... Um, Check it. I'll do a drum roll. Uh, I, I promised Les I would do this, so shout out to Les. Oh, I know what it is. Can we say it on three? You're meant to shout out, because I said oh, shout out. out. Thank you. Out. Okay, one, on two, three. three. Dirty, Dirty Hallians. Hallians. Oh, is it just singular? Yes, yeah, singular. I'm sorry, I ruined it. Yes, just want to say it just on your own because I ruined it. Dirty Hallian, or if you want to go... Irish. Irish. You dirty Hallian. Dorty. Dorty. You just change the I with an O. Which yeah. is generally just how to do an Irish accent. You just change any I's in a word to O. Oi. Mm, yeah, well, oi. Um, yeah. But, uh, Chloe, what is a dirty Hallian? A dirty scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, fair enough. <laughs> Sounded so threatening. A mischievous idiot. Yeah. So I think yeah, I think it would um someone who's mis mischievous or cheeky. A wee twerp. Well, no, I think it's more than that. It's like if you do something um 
Like if you make a mess, if you spill food, or if you like, if you properly do a pile of wrecking, yeah. Or, like not not just like you know, oh, I spilled a Cheerio. <laughs> Like a uh, full on, like you put your hand down wrong and you catch the edge of the bowl and just chip it everywhere. Yeah, you're a dirty alien. Or if you do a really bad fart <laughs> and you stink or, out the whole room, you're or, a dirty alien. Or if the dog pees in your leg, then it's a dirty alien. Or if the cat farts after you squeeze it too tight. <laughs> right, okay. Two of these need explanations. So we have our wee kitten buddy. Um, you might have seen him on my Twitter. 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 That's what I was talking about the other day whenever you say words, some words weird sometimes. Twitter. Yeah. I don't know, I just... Okay. Sometimes you say Twitter and then other times you go Twitter. If I'm being posh then it's Twitter. It depends on the but it's situation. Twitter. Sometimes you say... Twitter. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Um, I don't mind it, it's kind of cool. He had a... He had a, he had a big tummy. He was just fed and he was inside and he was, um, the cat, the kitten, maybe, by the way. Maybe he was just sort of like, not full of himself, but you know what I mean? Bloated. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he'd eaten too much chewing gum. And he just <laughs> Why did you drank... say full of himself? That's something completely different. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Full of air is what I meant, yeah. but yeah, maybe he had too much chewing gum or he had too much Diet Coke. Anyway, point is I picked him up and gave him a big cuddle and he farted. <laughs> Audibly. <laughs> It wasn't that audible, it was just sort of wee like... No, but it wasn't, it was wee... <laughs> I can't... Ma- <laughs> I was... That's the noise I was aiming for. <laughs> it was high-pitched and small and quiet, but yeah. <laughs> and it was stinking. It was vile. <laughs> I thought dogs' farts were bad. I thought my brother's farts were bad. For such a tiny creature, like... <laughs> Dirty alien. Uh, then Buddy we, went straight outside after that. Yeah, not that Buddy. Buddy's not an inside cat anyway. But Buddy was Buddy gets brought in for a while, and yeah, Buddy hasn't been in since. Yeah, um, and then we were out with the dog sledging, and the dog was running around the field, and yeah, was gonna climb over a fence. Was like, okay, I need to get my foot and sorted. Where's the dog? Okay, the dog's there. Good. Uh, right, so I'm just gonna climb over this. Why is my leg warm? And then I looked down and. I think yeah. I think it's important to note she was wearing waterproof trousers, so it's not that bad. It's still gross, but it's not like yeah, water waterproof trousers and well, it's so like I didn't feel it, but it was warm yeah. and it was there, and I but was that, unimpressed. That dog that we had out—that's one of our many dogs, and he is useless <laughs> at jumping. It's just like most dogs learn whenever you're sledging to move out of the way of the sledge. Like they'll yes, okay, right, they'll like get knocked over, like they'll get cleaned a couple of times. Shep did not learn that. Yeah. He was just kind of like, where are you going? Bang! All right. Aye. <laughs> and he went down again and he was like, where are you going this time? Bang! All right. Yeah. Um, You get hit there. Oh, like, where's Jill going now? Bang! <laughs> yeah. Uh, and also, although, actually, I stopped before I hit him anytime time. Cause no, I tried to as well, but sometimes he just sort of appeared from beside you and just sort of jumped up like, Hey! <laughs> he just jumped on top of you. <laughs> but he's also really bad at jumping over things. He gets the concept of jumping. He knows what he's meant to do, but he just can't put it into practice. <laughs> and you can watch him as he gets more and more frustrated as he runs up to the fence and he's like, Yeah, 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 I got this. No. No. That wait, was wrong. Wait, okay. it's, it's front legs first and then back legs. <laughs> Right. And then he goes up again and then he gets his front paws up and he goes, No, that was that there's, was wrong. There's something else between this. To... <laughs> right, and then he goes again and then he tries to jump up and he just No And then he just starts crawling like whining around your feet, just going, I can't I know how to I just can't get it. The paws and the <sighs> You can just imagine his voice. Him. And yet Sue, another one of our dogs, can jump over things just just for banters. Like, you'll be struggling over a fence and she'll sort of be like, what you doing? Oh, is this what you're trying to do? Jumps over it with, like, literally no effort. Is this what you're trying to do? Jumps over again. Just like, just like this, you know? Just, just straight over. It, I don't know what's taking you so long because I can just go like this. <laughs> Sorry, are you, are you struggling? Just... Just do this. <laughs> it's like you run and then you're over. <laughs> no, you're joking. I wish I could run and jump like that. Like you know what I mean? Like dive over things and then go into a forward roll. Yeah. Like goals. Sue doesn't do a forward roll. She just jumps straight. I know, over. but she's, she's a dog. <laughs> she has like extra protection for her elbows. Yeah. 
So do cats, though. Is yeah. it cats are like they have super absorption? Do they not have slightly bendy bones too? Oh, I can't sort of help absorb it. I know there was an ad about it, and it showed like the anatomy of a cat. Yeah, it showed like a skeleton and stuff. That was really cool. It was very interesting. Our dogs are weird. Like Sue, like the dog that can jump really good. Like she talks to you. She's like sort of like a collie shelty cross, and she just she talks to you. And I swear she can understand English. She can. Like, cause you're like Sue, who loves you? And it's just like. Mm-hmm. Did you have a good day, puppy? <laughs> but she's getting, it's getting to the point now where her yeses and noes are just clear. Yeah. It's like, where's daddy? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Is that daddy there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and then just the, <laughs> that's my favourite one. It's just like, ugh. <laughs> At least that's it's not even it's not even the noises too. Sometimes she gives just she's just like she rolls she she rolls, she her, rolls eyes. her eyes or else she'll give you like this wee side eye like you want me really. <laughs> and if you're petting her and she's just relaxed, she's just <laughs> that's... but that's what her daddy used to do. Her daddy used to groan like that and just be like yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes closed and just the head tilted back just like uh-huh. <laughs> you would tell whenever you get a scratchy spot because it's just uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are way better than cats. I have a uh, sad... Don't at me. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. Dogs are better. Are you going to say you have a sad story? Yeah. Okay. It's about the rugby because I was going to say we need to set a timer for rugby because I don't want people to be like bored with rugby. It's about rugby, yeah. Okay, right. Set a timer for about... So we say three minutes. Okay. Three minutes and we'll rant about the rugby. Okay. England were the better team. England played dirty though. Yeah. They definitely played dirty. Although Wales were incredible on Friday. Yeah. Definitely. We're talking about the Six Nations here and the rugby, oh, yeah. just in case you didn't know, because the Super Sevens is also on in like the Southern Hemisphere, but I think it's over actually now, but New Zealand won, obviously, because... Ireland did pretty good in it, did they not know? No, it's know. the Super Sevens, so that's like all the Southern Hemisphere ones. Ireland were playing though, innit? Not in the Super Sevens. Okay, well they were playing in some kind of Sevens. But yeah, New Zealand won, um, but yeah, solid Six Nations. Scotland were very good too, yeah. I didn't think Scotland were gonna be good mm, Scotland's Scotland's got a lot better like uh, what annoyed me I think about the match was the English fans I think they were very sort like I maybe it's just me maybe it's just the fans like the Irish fans that I know but we're always sort of like fairly graceful yeah and like we're sort of yeah, like I mean, oh yeah fair enough you know that was a good a good try or whatever we're like oh you know decent defence and like England just weren't quick enough for that or whatever I mean during the match it's all very heated and it's all sort of like oh this English team are like oh they're so annoying what are they doing oh. no no but that's what I'm saying like even if like even throughout the game like the Ireland fans were sort of like not fair play that was okay yeah and then like even in other matches say England v New Zealand or not Ireland v New Zealand like the end of last year like that was sort of very much just like oh gutted for the All Blacks and oh tough good like, team good yeah, team yeah like the whole way through the match not just afterwards and I just the English ones just were not like that I was sort of like mm-hmm. okay but the English I mean like fair enough okay but England have, had the... England have had like a fairly rubbish season <laughs> like Ireland had the Grand Slam last year so they're sort of really taking the mic out of that like oh we beat the grand slam victors oh no grand slam for them this year and oh oh they they beat the old blacks did they oh well we beat them so we're clearly better and it's sort of like you can have an off day <laughs> yeah um there were some brutal injuries though oh um, who was it the best C- cj stander oh. uh fractured cheekbone but kept playing legend like oh and you but see that's, his face that's like, and it's that's so like what rugby players are like they're like they're constantly just sort of like hiding injuries just because they want to keep playing I, I can't remember what match it was but Roy Best had like blood pouring down his face from like a head injury no no I'm fine I'm fine, like, I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine um, but I mean head wounds do bleed a lot like yeah. a lot more than they they look more dramatic dramatic than they are yeah, yeah. and then the blood's always like bright red too it's 
rugby players are made of hard stuff. Anyway, Six Nations started off good. Uh, hopefully Ireland will be able to bring it back. Um, I don't mind not getting a Grand Slam as long as uh, as long as we win most matches. We do well. Top of the table. <laughs> Disappointed we got beat by England, but I mean, fair enough. We played mediocre, poorly, and England were. And some players just had the same tactics. <clears throat> I mean, as soon as England had the ball, they kicked it to the other end of the. Pitch. Uh, that, so that started just... the... It started to get on my nerves. I was like, just, just throw the ball, guys. Stop it. But I mean, it was effective. But... No, no, no. But Ireland did that too. Like it was, there was one England player and one Ireland player, and they just I mean, they were just kicking it from one end to the other. And it was like, it's not even useful. Well, it does give you a wee bit more space, like, but no, but like, isn't like they were they weren't. They were inside like their own half. They were in that upper half, and they would have just kicked it. And it's like, what's the point? You could have just passed it to someone, rather than kicking it and giving it straight to. Well, the I get team. why the Ireland team did it because they were being crushed by England. <laughs> Moving on. I wouldn't say crushed. Like, they Eng were. England's defence was brutal. Um, coming up this week, also we are going to be doing some more RIB crack on podcast Ooh. things. So we'll keep you updated on that. Hello, welcome back. The rugby talk has ended. <laughs> Um, what, what, if you're not updated, can you be downdated? Like, why you can is be backdated. Why is it update and not, like, downdate? We're going to keep you left dated on that. I mean, why, well, backdated, I get that, but you can't be front dated. Yeah. Can you can be outdated, can you be indated? Yeah, I think so. Well, you can be inundated. Yeah. That's like a negative too, though, in there. Yeah, in on. It sounds like I just said in on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. Oh, will we do? Will we do a listener question? Yeah. Wait, what was this listener question? What would your perfect day look like? I don't know. I'm gonna let you answer this first because you have had more time. I just, to think I about just it. looked at the questions. So like, yeah, I'll just copy paste that. Um, I'd wake up with like not feeling tired, but like not waking up and wasted half the day, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like wake up at a reasonable time, but sort of wake up and sort of be like, ah, oh, I feel well rested. <laughs> um, and then like the weather being like mild, but not too hot, not too cold. So it's nice to walk up to the bus. So you would walk up to the bus, you wouldn't like have a lift somewhere. I mean, preferably, but I'm being realistic. Okay. <laughs> And the bus like arriving and then the bus driver being like, sorry, machine's broken. Just go on ahead there. And then you're like, just saved like two pound there, lads. And the bus being early into the town and then there being like no queues anywhere for lunch. And then getting over to the gym and all the gym min min machines, <laughs> all the gym machines being like free. And like all the podcasts you listen to are just on, po on point. And you don't zone out. Well, you do zone out, but you still understand what happens in podcasts. Because I always listen to podcasts at the gym. And it's sort of like, yeah, I listen to this. And it's sort of like, like me and Joe sort of try to listen to like the same podcast as much as we can in the gym. So we can sort of like talk about it afterwards. And yeah. I'll sort of be like, oh, do you listen to Dear Hank and John? I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was episode 44. Yeah, yeah. So did you get to this bit? I mean, I finished the podcast, but I don't remember that bit. <laughs> And it's just because you kind of zone out, but like that's good. So how's the rest of your day pan panning out? Um, I get home and how do you get home? Then? Uh, we left from mummy or from someone, or maybe I meet a boy at the gym and he's like, "Hey, I live in Claude and it'll be like, "That's really weird, but okay." Don't usually accept lifts from strangers. Um, but yeah, I get home and um, Sue's all clean, so she comes in and we cuddle, and. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what my perfect dinner would be. Oh, ice cream. Ice cream or cereal. <laughs> Although egg in a cup is pretty good. I think egg in a cup. And then ice cream and then cereal for supper. Mm -hmm. What would you watch on TV or what would you do? Um, The Good Place or House. But I would watch it like on TV and not on some like crappy website. <laughs> yeah. Like and then on. what, go to bed at a reasonable time or? Go to bed just whenever I feel like going to bed and just sort of being like, yes, now is time to go to bed rather than 
that's so it's this time I should probably go to bed like you know what I mean yep would your perfect day look like uh blurry because you're blind uh, <laughs> I don't know your day sounds like a fairly standard day <laughs> I don't know, to me that it's, would, it's a standard it's a day, but it's like a perfect day because everything just goes your way. I mean, it's a good day, but I wouldn't call it perfect. Oh, would your perfect day? Uh, like, well, I obviously, I mean, I could show up like, you know, Chris Hemsworth and Hugh Jackman and stuff could just randomly bump into me and be like, hey, I'm in Derry and be like, it's London Derry, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I don't know. I think my perfect day would involve getting a phone call and then being like, and the person being like, Oh, hey, I've got a, a role for you here. I'm going to pay for you to come over to London or whatever to your audition. Um, bye. And then... Like I said, I was being realistic. <laughs> Are you saying that that couldn't happen? I'm saying that um, mine is more realistic than yours, but of course yours could happen because you're real talented. <laughs> I'm not even going to continue with my day. It's fine. Uh, Niall Horan has seen Dairy Girls and he likes Dairy Girls. Oh, Niall Horan is like... going to watch series two of Dairy Girls and Niall Horan is going to see me. Oh yeah, because we're extras in the back. I was like, why is he going to see you? What? Yeah, so that's exciting. How have we been talking for like 36 minutes? No, we're not meant to say the time. We said we wouldn't I'm sorry, that. but that's like a decent like way through it. It's not as if it's like, how have we only been talking for 10 minutes? True, Like that's fair. Um, do you want to play the Google game? Oh yeah, have you planned this week? Yeah, I did. I did originally go what would ha what would happen if, and then I looked at the answers and I was like, we've done this one before. Oh, but they were slightly different. But anyway, um, I went for when is, and I'm gonna Easter give you... twenty nineteen. Yes, that is one of them. They're actually fairly easy, I think. Good Friday. No. Christmas. No. Jesus's birthday. No. I mean, why birthday. would you say Christmas? I think everybody knows when Christmas is. <laughs> Jewish people too. <laughs> Uh, when is they're all sort of fairly... it okay to no it, they're they're all like not dates but like you know what I mean like they're all specific days when is St Patrick's Day no 17th of March when is Pancake Day it's days that all these like change yes Pancake Day was it wasn't on the top five but it was in the top like ten you've got one which was number four when is the next solar eclipse. No. When is Can my I give you a hint? doctor's Can I appointment? Give you a hint? Okay. Ah, uh, Sunday. When is Father's Day? Yeah. When is Mother's Day? No. When is my granny's birthday? No. When You're is... just being silly now with granny's birthday. <laughs> when is the Queen's birthday? No. When's the shortest day of the year? Yeah. When's the longest day of nope. the year? When is there the next bank holiday? No. Um, oh, come on, I'd be searching that. What? I'm trying to give you a hint. When what colour is that? Black Friday. Yeah, that was When's the top Thanksgiving? One. That was one of them, but not in the top five. How many more do I need? One. I need number five. Um, I'm just going to give you a really big clue. It's today. What's today? Mum came in and wished us at dinner time. Flippa wasn't even paying attention. You talked about chicken fried rice. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to say that out loud. That makes me sound really racist. <laughs> well, Chinese. what's the answer? <laughs> when is Chinese New Year? <laughs> I'm not racist, guys. <laughs> It was a private family joke, okay? <laughs> to be fair, I think everyone's racist because everybody thinks that Irish people are drunk. True. And people always go, top of the morning to you. No, no Irish one. person has ever said that. No one says that. Like, And also, we're Northern Irish, so stop it. No, but we, where was it? Was it the Titanic experience and someone said yeah. that? And I was just cringing. I was like, they were like, it was like American tourists and they were like, oh, what do you say? Top of the morning to you? And it's like, don't you dare. I kind of wish if if it had happened now rather than a couple of years ago, I would have turned around and gone, no one says that, mate. And no one says that up here, so don't. <laughs> but you have to be pure broad. Yeah. Like, don't you dare say that. <laughs> don't know what that accent was, but it wasn't Northern Irish. Or else people being like, oh, you're from Ireland? I'm from Northern Ireland. Oh. That's my favourite thing. <laughs> I flip and I flip and love whiting people up just, oh, you're Irish? Northern Irish. But like, just... Look them dead, dead in the eye. Yeah. No, no emotion. Just Northern Irish. Thank you. 
Uh, I think what even more... Can... about us to get out of the bowl. What confuses everybody even more if you go Ulster? Yeah. <laughs> so you're from Ireland? No, I'm from Uh-oh. I'm from Ulster. <laughs> well, no, Ulster is like the, the province. You couldn't really say that. That doesn't really make as much sense. Well, if it's where you're from, you could technically say Ulster. Yeah. But you can't say, like, if you're Irish, you can't say Ulster. Yeah. <laughs> I am <I'm> Ulster. <laughs> uh, there's a big debate going on about which is better, the Ulster fry or full English. Ulster fry. Do you know what the difference between an Ulster fry and a full English is? No, but you get some good, um, like, rooster potatoes from Thompson Spots, so you do. Aye. Why are you getting potatoes in an Ulster fry? For your flipping hash browns and, <laughs> like, your potato waffle. What? <laughs> Have you not seen that? Some Ulster fries come with a potato waffle. But a traditional one. Is it the black and white pudding? But yeah, I think that's one of the differences. I think you get black and white and then it's also um your potato bread. So I thought you were going for it. I thought you were I thought you got it, but then you started talking about potato waffles. I think I think I think potato waffles make a fry. Not that I'm when a big fan of fry. A fry. <laughs> yeah, not that I'm a big fan of a fry, but I think potato waffles just thrown in there never just had a fry with a potato waffle. No, it's like a recent thing. So why are you saying it's it like instead it? of it's like, it's like instead of a hash brown. I didn't even think Ulster fries had hash browns. I don't even know what a hash brown is. It's like fried potato. Mm. I don't actually know. Don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, do at me. Tell me what a hash brown is, <laughs> please. I just like if I had a fry, I would literally just have. Beans and potato bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The swap, swap out the fried egg for some scrambled egg. Mm. Keep the toast. Brown toast. Brown toast. Not buttered. Do you want some toast on bean? <gasps> Can we tell that story? Go for it. So we were at a cafe. Um, that's definitely not called Rob and Kurtz. <laughs> Continue. And uh, we were looking at the menu. Well, I say we were looking at the menu. We were looking at the wee take down menu that you can take off the thing, not the full big massive behind the desk board menu. Um, because can't read that. And the last time I tried to take a picture of a menu behind the board, I got <laughs> told off. off. Um, I mean, I, I That's showed a her. Sad story. I showed her the photo, and was sort of like, it's literally, it's not even your face. Anyway. It's literally the menu on the back. Anyway, anyway um, we ordered, and we saw. Well, like we, we didn't necessarily see beans on toast on the actual menu, but we were like. I mean, there's beans within some of these items, <laughs> and I mean, there's toast and along with some of these items too. So let's just put them together and bippity boppity boo. Um, so we went up and we were like, "Yeah, can we have beans on toast?" And it was like, "Yeah, sure. Uh, do you want to wait for it or go down and get a seat?" And I was kind of like, "I mean, are you, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go sit down, thanks." Because everybody else had gone to sit down. I was kind of like. I'm not going to stand here like a tube waiting for 10 minutes for you to like sort out everybody else's order and then mine. Like, I don't know. To me, I think it was like a bit of a silly question. But, um, you yeah, know, we went went and sat down, sort of chatted to my date. Me. It was Judith. And we just sort of discussed things because there was no Wi-Fi. So we just had to be like normal people and yeah. talk. It was weird. Was. But enjoyable. But you're quite interesting and I like your voice. Hi. Um but anyway the, the man came down and he had two plates and he was sort of like, uh, did you just order the toast on bean? <laughs> it's funny every time. <laughs> it's kinda like we kinda looked at him for a sec like for like a split second, but genuinely felt like the longest second of my life, just in my head sort of going, Toast on bean toast to bean toast bean toast on bean. I don't know, I always, I trust waiters and waitresses whenever yeah. they bring down food. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I don't even listen to what they're saying. I'm just like, yeah, give me. That's me. <laughs> and then if they sit it down in front of me, I don't know what I'd do. But, and if it was like the wrong order, I'd be like, um, actually, you know what? No, I didn't order this burger. <laughs> um, but yeah, 12 they, ounce stick, actually. They put it down and then they walked away and I was kind of like, it made you just sort of like, we stared at each other with the exact same look. Sorry, I'm making a frog out of paper. Just do it down there rather okay. than up here. Um, but yeah, they just give each other like the look. <laughs> the look. Would you like to join in on this? Because I just feel like I'm telling the no, story. No, sorry, I was letting you tell the you story. Were, you were there too, so you know, you can help. Oh, no, it's fine. And then, yeah, Judith just kept on saying, Bean on toast on bean. No, you're the one that pointed it out to me because I hadn't really noticed. I hadn't fully yeah. paid attention. I know, but then we sort of, 
we just kept discussing it. <laughs> and then he walked past and I he began to like clean the table. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I knew sometimes... I thought you were going to join in with what you said there. What? <laughs> you looked at him, you're like, toast on bean. <laughs> yeah. But I, I also feel bad because I'm like, I mean, fair enough, he's probably busy and, you know. Who would ever look at it, though, and automatically go, yeah, that's toast on beans, that is. Maybe he'd had a long day. I mean, I don't care. I could, I could sleep, like, not sleep for, like, four days and I'd still go for beans on toast, not toast on bean. <laughs> Maybe someone handed it to him. Maybe it wasn't his fault. Maybe someone handed it to him and said, that's toast and beans. Yeah. I didn't even put the S on the end of beans. I wanted to see if it would go over the phone. Sorry, I made an origami frog and I made it jump and I hit the phone. Oh, you are going to say something from... else apart from origami. <laughs> <laughs> no. You paused at the wrong time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um... Oh, you shouldn't have thrown that away. I had another thing that I was going to say. It's right there. I got my hair cut. I got my hair cut. Short. It's not short, it's to your shoulders. It's short for me. They had to use an electric razor for mine. Yeah, I didn't get like a number, number one, one all one over. over. <laughs> yeah, it's number two all over. It's not even. It's just for the back because I like it nice and short at the back because the back of my hair grows really fast. It's really pretty though. It's really handy to keep now. I don't even have to brush it. My hair's really thin now, and I keep forgetting how little of it there is. Which is, I do do the thing where you try and reach back to like pull it like this, and then it just ends. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe that for the podcast listeners. I like to you play reach with my hair you. a lot, and then I like to bring it around the front over my shoulder and play with it. But I can't do that now because it's like too short. Well, I mean, it's still just holding my neck. It comes, yeah, well, it comes, yeah, yeah, it comes around to the side of your neck. It doesn't come around your like, shoulder. I can't anymore. just bend my elbow and do it. I have to lift my whole arm up. <laughs> But yeah, that's, um, I think that's you pretty much up to date, guys. Unless you have anything else to say. I mean, I've said most of the things. Yeah, I know, I told, I, like... a, I told a big long story. I'm going to listen back to some of these podcasts and see who talks more, because it's going to be like Dear Hank and John, where John does most of the talking and Hank just sort of pips in sometimes. <laughs> I'm happy with you doing more of the talking, though. I am not, though. Why? I want you to talk. I just feel like I'm talking all the time. It's kind of like, Judith, what are you saying? I'm You're just gonna... like, yes. I'm going to put up a poll. I'm going to see who people like talking more. I'm going to create like six I'll do two. I'll do Twitter who do they, accounts. Who do they think talks more and who do they want to talk more? And then we will... Vote for Judith. For oh, Buds to talk more. No, stop. Make your own choices, guys. Don't let Chloe force you into well, You're the one who's decision. kind of suggesting it because you're sort of saying, I'm going to put up a poll. What? Well, I just meant that I was just going to... I mean, you can put up a poll, it's fine. Put it up on Skip Twins and then they won't know who's yeah, up a poll. That's what I meant. I wouldn't just do it on my own account. Okay, whenever I talk about Skip Twins, I say we. Okay, well, we will put up a poll. But really, you know it's Judith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do a lot of work on that Skip Twins channel. You don't. We do equal amounts. Sometimes I put up polls. But that's because <laughs> my phone is used for recording. True. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. There was other things that I had. Oh yeah, you have to find out how many people have died doing bobsleighing, or tobogganing, deluge, or luge, or skeleton. Skeletoning. And let us know. Uh, please number them, don't just give us three random numbers. Um, not, not number them, label them. <laughs> Bob, Jeff and Dean. <laughs> and Bob, okay, Bob is bobsleighing, Jeff is... I don't know, um... Luge because J K L and Dean because is skeleton 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 skeleton. <laughs> anyway, uh, make sure you give this podcast a like. I can't even uh, remember them. Did I say Kevin? Was Kevin one of them? It was Bob, Jeff, and Dean. Jeff and Dean. I should have had Kevin the skeleton. Ah, oh, got it. Like <sighs> the podcast, leave a review, give uh, a five stars. stars. Um, or the moon. Or the apple of your eye. Also share it with your friends and family and enemies and dogs and... That elephant from across the road. And any elephants that you may know, please share it. And make sure you have big enough earphones for the elephant. Only Indian elephants. Why not African elephants? They have big ears.
protect all elephants. I'd share it with all elephants. We are not elephantist. Don't share it with kangaroos. We're not animalist. We like kangaroos. And koalas and wallabies and zebras and polar bears and pandas and monkeys and chimpanzees and gorillas and dogs and cats and giraffes and lions and tigers and cheetahs and penguins. Uh, the penguins have ears. Don't share it with the bees. It will give them vital information on how to take over the world. I don't like bees, so that's fine. Don't share it with Also, bees. don't share it with babies because I'll just drool all over it. And who wants a drooly podcast? Drooly. Drooly. How do you say drool? Is it drool? Drool. 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 Drooly. Drool. It just sounds weird whenever you say drooly podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> what kind of name is truly? What kind of name is Karatikus? Fair. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair enough. Mr. Karatikus Spots. Inventor. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We also discovered audiobooks. Audiobooks are great. Listen to audiobooks, guys. Top quality. <laughs> so it just did the finger guns. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. That was me doing finger guns again. Um, but yeah, uh, follow us on Twitter, skit underscore twins. Or skit under slash twins if you're me. Um, also, the same as that on Instagram. Uh, you can find, a f- I f- f- find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash skit twins. Uh, and also YouTube. Just um, search skit twins. Yep. And um, yeah, uh, make sure you share our stuff. That is very much appreciated. And please tweet us. Um, I think our Australian listener, listener, who I have forgotten your name, you were like, maybe you're not interested in this. We're flipping interested. In we are just... interested in your lives. Yeah. Uh, tell we us would rather talk about your lives than ours. Yeah. Sometimes we run out of things to say. Tell us what you have for breakfast. That's generally when we end up talking about toilet troubles. We didn't talk about toilet troubles this week. We talked about how a burp is like a fart. Oh, yeah. Lowering the tone since 1995. Like it used to be up here, but now it's down here. That's how far the tone has dropped. By the way, we have to finish the podcast on a high note. So, are you ready? (laughs) Ready?